The Rockwell Collins purchased Airing in December of 2013, and so this is pretty much where we're coming out and showing the investment we're putting into the product. Like Air Inc., Rockwell Collins was an aviation company that very heavily invests in the business. So at, when they acquired the company and when I took the job about a year ago, they really did want to look into investing into the business more. And so we spent about the last six to nine months coming up with a roadmap of where we're going to invest in the industry. And this show is one of the launching pads for two of our products that we're going to discuss about today. We'll talk about those products in a second. But overall, what does that acquisition mean for people that are used, obviously, to the Air Inc. name? I think you'll see a lot more product expansion and a lot more investment in the products than you'd seen from Air Inc. before. Um, just as a company, Rockwell invests much of their revenue back into the business, and so we're doing that as well with the uh, Air Inc. Airports brand of products. Let's talk about the new products you mentioned then. What are you showing here? All right, for this show, we're showing two products. The first one is VMuse Mobile. So it's basically, it's the first totally CUPS compliant mobile VMuse check-in application on a tablet. It's run on a Windows operating system, and it basically allows airports or airlines to use that as a roving check-in system fully contained, no changes to the DCS required by the airlines, and it's good for queue busting, it's good for seasonal airports where airlines want to try out new, new sites and everything. It basically can go where CUPS cannot go before. The second new product is basically integrating biometrics into our passenger processing system for an end-to-end -end solution. What this basically does, it enables um, self-service, which is a trend in the airport industry, but at the same time, it keeps security high, but increases passenger throughput. That has the benefits of both, both operational cost and also of having more dwell time for the passengers in the airport and using concessions and so forth. So basically, we're integrating biometrics into our VMUSE product, which is a check-in product, into our self-bag drop, and also into the e-border e Gates. You mentioned about the key thing there, security not being compromised. Right. That balance in terms of making sure the, the process, the self-check-in process is efficient, but security isn't compromised, that's a difficult balance, isn't it? Absolutely true. It's very critical to make sure that, that security is as high as possible. And actually, when you incorporate biometrics as an additional token, it actually increases security even more so than before when it was just a human factor of looking at the documents. The biometrics actually is an increase in security and also increases the passenger throughput. And is it fair to say that initially when people were thinking about passengers being in control of their check-in process, that there were concerns that security might be an issue, and biometrics being introduced to that is something to reassure those that had those concerns? That is the exact thing that, that reassures them. So the biometrics, and it can be any kind of biometrics, whether it's iris, facial scanning, fingerprints, it basically links that person and is a very secure way to track the person throughout the airport. And in terms of airports getting used to this, the, the users as well are beginning to, to feel comfortable about this? The users are as well. You know, one of the things that a lot of the technology within airports are driven by technology that you see out in the consumer market. So as passengers are more used to it in their real day life, it also is used to it when you go through an airport. For Rockwell Collins and Aring, why is it important to be at Passenger Terminal Expo? Well, Passenger Terminal Expo, is not only is it one of the biggest shows, it's the big show for airports in Europe, but it's one of the biggest airport shows in the world. Um, it's one we've been coming to for, for many, many years. Um, it is the show of the year that we put on our calendar to make sure, and that's why we target this show to launch products. It's very important for us.